Hey everyone, this is going to be just me studying um, the drawings of Heinrich Clay. I really like his illustrations because they kind of convey a lot of movement and form and there's, there's a lot of free flowing um, feeling to them. So a good way of learning from someone is to not exactly copy and we're not going to go from line to line in his drawings. But my idea right now is to go into it uh, trying to feel out his forms and the way he approaches uh, gesture and whatnot. Um, you know, if you're doing a painting, or if you're trying to study like a painter, like Sargent or something, I'm um, always kind of, unless you're doing a master copy, that's like that's your, that's your idea. Um, go into it with one idea in mind. Be like, oh, I really want to study um, how he places values beside each other in this painting that I did. Or maybe it could be his color mixtures and his color palette and learn something from um, maybe don't overcomplicate it. So like, I'm not going to go and I'm, I'm not going to be particularly um, what am I trying to say? I'm not going to be going for like the way he shades his line with his lines and whatnot. I'm just going to be going for the form and study that a bit. Just understand his shapes. So this is just a book of his illustrations that I have and I'm just going to be going through finding some stuff that would be nice to draw. And I'm going to approach this like any other kind of um, figure drawing. Um, what's nice about these sometimes, um, instead of drawing from a photo reference, so other people's drawings can be a bit looser, and you can learn from their marks, their, or their mark making, about how they convey a subject, you know. You can already see this, even just like, this thigh is overlapping this foot and out of the the thigh is overlapping the calf and the shin bone the shin bone is overlapping the foot that's already a lovely shape to work with um, now I'm getting lost maybe a bit too much in the details so let's go back to just finding the idea of that gesture and the whole idea of that big form we've got going on And be quite loose. I'm not going to get too detailed with a lot of these drawings. This can even just be an exercise to loosen yourself up for your own drawing, you know? Like if I did some studies with Heinrich Clay, then maybe I'd go start doing some figure drawing of myself to try bring in that same energy in I did with these guys, or see what I learned from this and see how I can apply it to my own drawings. Really lovely line work he has, and just the perspective. Um, these are clearly like drawn from imagination, and the gesture and the perspective he has in them is just phenomenal. I think really beautiful to look at. Just still focusing on the line work he has, direction. Uh, my proportions are always going to be a little bit off, but that's more than okay. I just want to create fun shapes. Loosen myself up. I could go into this with some shading, I suppose. Maybe just a light idea of shading. I can come around and fix my shapes as I go. Yeah, just to maybe clear up the forms that I'm drawing. Just give a little bit of idea. Okay, I'm not going in drawing his exact lines or anything, but... Maybe I'll just take the understanding of his direction of line work and bring it into my own shading. See what we can do with that. See what textures that creates, what feeling that um, represents. There we go, that's one drawing done, I think. Yeah, all right, let's go on to the next one. Should I draw the frog? No, let's, let's find a page that we can work with. Oh, I like this guy. It's cool, like a little, what's it called? I was gonna say it's a devil thing, but the game of Diablo Arena. Seems like some sort of devil thing. That's, again, like any other gesture drawing or figure drawing, we'll just find 
the main gesture, something that speaks to me the most. I don't think I'm going to fit everything onto this page here. So let's just work with what we're going with. And that shoulder, lovely way he drew the forearm there. We can take that into our own drawings at some point. Just take note of that, of how he represents that turn of the forearm. And the overlapping of form is really lovely. Always has lines, it seems he always has lines to represent. Um, like even just here wrapping around that rib cage. It's really nice to see. Again, my proportions are going to be a bit off here. Nothing to worry about though. Maybe we just want to draw fun shapes today. It can be hard to find references that are a bit um, exciting, you know. Well, especially the, you know, compared to these drawings, but... Um, <laughs> You know, it's fine. It's hard to find like a good uh, reference with nice like overlapping forms and all the time. And to dig through what you've got already downloaded or someone else's reference folder, I do recommend keeping your own. You know, anytime you see something nice, just add it to a little folder on your computer. And um, it's good to uh, try keep it organized as well. That can be a hard thing to do. I really do like, I'll be like, maybe these are portraits with, uh, like costume portraits or, um, figures, but they're wearing clothes and then like male and female and um, weird perspectives, all that sort of thing. I do try to keep it consistent. I'm not saying that I do that. Um, I do a little bit, but I'm not perfect at it. It's good to remind yourself though to do something. There's actually so much, um, so much movement in this form, it's amazing. Lovely to work, look at. Even just these little um, sticks convey so much. Let's try to get the idea of that ballerina in. It's a fairly simple shape. I'm not going to go too detailed as I'm using a pastel pencil today and I don't think I'm going to get a lot in, you know. <laughs> You can even see that his, the hair he drew in has a lot of direction to it. A lot of changes of, of movement. Our air form's a bit messy. Let's clean up a little bit before we move on to the next drawing. I really recommend doing this even just to loosen yourself up. Just an illustrator, like maybe just see how they convey stuff, or like maybe take a master drawing, or like you know one of those um, epics where they have multiple characters and figures interacting with each other and crazy gestures, just to study those. Very fun. All right, we'll move on. She's into the drawing. Oh, I kind of like that guy. All right. Make sure you're okay on the old camera here before I move on. Yeah, grand. One sweeping motion for that gesture again. Get the shoulders in. That rib cage is lovely. The hips going. That's, that's looking well already. Maybe I'll try to keep it a bit cleaner. I was a bit messy with the last one. No, it was the worst thing to be doing. Just feel yourself around the form. Just let your, your hand put down marks, you know. Let's get the hips in a bit more. The idea of those legs down. Quite a lanky figure. 
Do I want to lose that? I love the way this hand curls in on that thigh. Again, I'm not, rep I'm not drawing that hand in yet, but I'm just getting the direction of that hand for myself later. The neck is beautiful here. Really nicely drawn. And this kind of stuff can be even good for, um, you know, portrait drawing if you really wanted to get in. And the way he's drawn that head and exaggerated stuff and got that, that, got that expression in. Continue here, get some of that hair in, get some of the muscles in that I can draw on top of my gesture line that I have here, or around it, use the gesture line more as a guideline for myself. Using sweeping motions as much as I can. Get the idea of that hand. And then we're we on the other side of the figure here. Love the way he draws those shoulders, they're beautiful. Oh, I think I'm getting messy again. Stop thinking about exactly what I was doing. <laughs> it's okay. Let's get the rest of those legs in, because they kind of complete the form, don't they? Again, it gets the idea of the knee sweeping that calf, and then these very strange feet. Well, that's, well, the idea are a bit strange because they have, like, you know, big claws at the end of them. But <laughs> they're drawn beautifully. Get the heel in. Are we missing anything from this? That I think is important to try grasp. Maybe a little bit, but I think I got the idea okay. We'll do one more drawing, I think. I think I... Maybe a made this a bit too stiff. Sure, it's okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. I really recommend actually picking this book up. It's beautiful things to work from. Oh, that's cool. We'll do the elephants. It's very fun. Should we do the left elephant or right elephant? Let's do the left elephant. It's a fun shape. That's like a simple shape, I think, overall, but it's got a lot packed into it. Like it's really just this big, you know, kind of pear shape happening. That's squished on one side, isn't it? A bit, bit wider at the bottom. Yeah. Like it's really just this shape that we're working with completely. And then we can wrap everything around that. <laughs> it's amazing what he's done with these elephants. He's made them so, uh, so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Besides gestural, there's another word <laughs> for, for it. <laughs> I'll go with gestural for now. He's brought a lot of life into them, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm thinking too much about small forms and you need to get back to getting movement in. You can tell he really understands the anatomy here. Cause it's not like, you know, he had a reference of an of an elephant doing this. <laughs> he just kind of taught it from his head, really played around with it. And like, I'm not someone who draws from my head um, a lot, but people who do, you can really learn from them, even if you're not that kind of person. Even if you're just like a fine artist who likes to paint. Um, 
There's always something to learn from someone else. He's trying to approach art completely differently from you. And not art, but, uh, well, visual art. I'm not going to go tell you to, um, you know, to listen to some musicians. It will influence your drawing. Without my, it might, actually, now that I think about it. You know, don't listen to me. I have nothing, I know nothing what I'm talking about. <laughs> the trunk actually gives a lot of movement. That is great. I wish I could draw elephants as well. Great creatures. Even the way he's drawn these ears. Beautiful sweet sweeping motions. And you can see how stiffly I drew those those legs at the at the start. Compared to everything else, I think has a bit more movement to it. Maybe just throw some shading in for this one. And we'll call it there. Let's just make this a bit cleaner. Really lovely overlapping shapes. It's always really nice to find. There we go. Okay, I think we'll call that there. This has been a fun exercise. I recommend you doing this either with Heinrich Clay or just someone else you, you enjoy. Studying someone someone you like is always a good idea, I think. Right, thanks for joining us, guys.